Hey guys, welcome to my car making tutorial series where we'll be making a car game from scratch. Um, so first off, we'll start with the car vehicle template. Now here there's the more advanced one with like springs and, and other kind of contraptions, but we'll just stick with the normal vehicle one. Now you'll want to have the starter pack on and we'll just name this car game. Let it load for a second. There you go. So, Unreal gives us a good little starter here. A nice lit world with some obstacles and a car. Um, it even shows us that we can put movable objects. We can hit these, move them around. There are also solid objects like that pole up ahead. And also, you can see that the speed of the car is right there. Um, that's a pretty cool feature that they they show us. Now what we'll do is we'll just create a new world because we don't want all those obstacles and things. We'll just create a new basic world level. Here there's nothing in there yet. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just delete this little box. And now from there, click landscape. And now you can see it gives us where the landscape would be. It just shows us if we create a landscape, this is where it'll be, the green part. Um, so I think we want it a bit bigger than that. So what we'll do, we'll put it at 150. And there you go, That's that looks big enough. And what we'll do, we'll just make it a grass terrain. So look up grass in the material, and there you go. Now we've got a good grass terrain. Click create, and boom. Now, here the player start is underneath the the terrain, so we'll just go on the blue arrow. Okay, you can switch with W, E, and R, and we'll go to W, and bring down the the arrow so that it's beneath the player start. And now we can drive around on our nice little new terrain. Let's go back to landscape mode. Let's go to sculpt. And we're just going to create a little little hills around it. You can adjust it however you want. I'm just messing around with it right now, trying to see what's perfect for me. I'll just go in time lapse now and you'll see at the end how it is. There you go, now we've got our nice little mountains around us. And what we want to do is just add some trees around there. So if I go in foliage, now as you can see, there's nothing there yet. right? We haven't created anything that we can add to our foliage. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in the Epic Games Marketplace. And in the Marketplace, we're just going to look up trees. Let's find a good, some good trees that we can add to our world. Now, I downloaded this one, but I do not recommend it because it's really, really big. It's like one to two gigs. Um, what you can do is just go on the internet and look up some trees FBX, because that's the file format that you wanted, and just export it into your game. Now there's a new folder in our project with the trees inside. What we're going to do, I'm just going to drag and drop that into the foliage. Now it's going to compile all the shaders. That might take some time, but we'll just continue on.
If you guys already have a map, you guys can just co continue on to the second the second video. Now we have to select the tree, and now with the brush tool we can just draw some on. As you can see this is really dense right now and they still haven't compiled. So I'm just going to do control Z to go back. And I'm just going to bring down the density. That's a bit better, but I think I'll bring the the size of the brush a bit less. Okay, that's better. Now let me just put those around my world. I'm applying that to the mountains so that they're not in the middle of my racetrack. Now these trees were really detailed and really big, so what I did is just export a smaller one. Now we have some nice little trees everywhere. We can't actually hit them, they're just see-through, but that's fine. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll be building the road. So if you want, you can just go directly to that video. Or if you just wanted to watch this one, that's fine.